Overlooking Stroud is the Barrington Tops National Park. This is home to one of the largest temperate rainforests on mainland Australia. Appropriate then that we explore these forests with Peter Beard. After all, he's a National Parks Ranger who's passionate about the place. Peter, this is truly breathtaking, right on the edge of the escarpment with the Barrington Tops laid out right ahead of us there. Nice. Such wonderful diversity. We've got rainforest, we've got Antarctic beach forest, we've got eucalypts, great array of birds, plants, some that are just locally endemic to only Barrington Tops. It's just a great place to be. Peter takes me deep into the lushest of Barrington's rainforests. Any wonder it's been declared part of the World Heritage listed Gondwana rainforests of Australia. As we're about to discover this day, the Barrington Tops is not only covered by these rainforests, it's also a glorious mosaic of eucalyptus forests, subalpine woodlands, swamps and grasslands. Right now though, we're dazzled by an array of plant types that include some of the oldest trees on the planet. And the link to Gondwana land, the Antarctic beaches. Yeah, this family is uh, related to other tree species that grew at the time of Australia was part of Gondwana. Um, only two species in Australia of Nothophagus, this being one, Barrington Tops being the southernmost point of where they grow, and it's our link to the Gondwana Rainforest World Heritage Listing. What sort of age would you put on this? Hundreds or even thousands of years? Easily hundreds, maybe the thousands. Peter, you're telling me that these trees now are a barometer for climate change, global warming. Given that we're the southernmost point of where they grow on Barrington and they are potentially uh, retracting further up the escarpment due to a change in the, the temperature. Um, and there are some people that believe that we can use them as a barometer for that climate change with the heating up of the planet. 